Yeah. Yeah. And I think as well that like what it does, it takes away like any barriers that we have for ourselves. So if we sometimes we go into a training, it feel like we're not adequate or we need to do certain things and it gives us that comfort of our own home. And we're like, I'm practicing, I'm doing my own thing with other people doing their own thing. So I think a lot of those barriers that we have and doubts that we have, we can just put them to the side because this is me and my, and, and my time. Yeah. It's something that I've noticed as well that is amazing. It's like I've, through Zoom, people that come on my retreats, it's like I've had students from, from Glasgow to London to like different parts, especially in the UK, who, who join the class because they couldn't before travel to London to the House of Yoga to do a practice with me. So it's just, I'm, I'm awesomely surprised. <laughs> I, I want to add one more thing is that doing it at home and having our own space, it really, it's conducive to building a self-practice, which is mm -hmm. so valuable to, to embody what we need to teach as a teacher is to have a self-practice. And already having that started at home is an incredible um, opportunity to understanding that the, the yoga really is, is within us when we come to teach. So in the studio, there might be that perception of, am I doing it right? When in reality, when you're at home, you're, you're doing it the way you're doing it. And there's a lot less of that judgment about it. So I think that that's another beautiful quality of the, the experience we're able to create online. 